Are your dining room chairs looking a little bit worse for wear? Then this is a video for you. Don't forget everything you in the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get those Kirby products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be looking at some dining room chairs. Now if you're like me and you've got children or you've got grandchildren, over time you're gonna have them sitting at that dining room table. They're gonna drop stuff, spill stuff over those chairs. Some of you may look at getting professional cleaners. You don't need to. If you've bought a Kirby vacuum, you've got the best cleaning system at your hand. First up, you're gonna to wanna to use a zip brush and a Wolper and card above with the correct way to use this. We'll be using this for a time lapse, so it will be a pretty quick video. Now, it doesn't matter if you've got early Kirby from the 1980s or whether you've got the latest Avalia. It's a pretty simple process to do. We'll be showing you how to set it up and how to get that professional clean with your Kirby shampoo portable system. So let's jump in and have a look at the state of these dining room chairs. So today we're gonna to be cleaning eight dining room table chairs. Now, as you can see, we picked obviously the wrong color to have children and grandchildren. Now, I'm not sure how well this picks up on camera, but we've got dirty finger marks here. You can see where they've rubbed their hands on this chair. Got a stain on this one where they've dropped their drink. A couple of stains at the back here as well. So again, we've got a bit of chocolate on this one, a bit of whatever dessert that was. Here we've got more dirty thing marks, whatever food they were eating. It's just the joys of having kids and grandchildren. There are a few things you're gonna need. Obviously you're gonna need your portable shampooer. If you've got the Avalia, you're going to need this connection as well. Just put it on the blow side. So this is when we convert it to shampoo system, which I will do via time lapse. If you've got a Kirby, pre-century out then you will have this connection so you can see there's a little bit difference between them you will need your hose you're going to vacuum it off with the zip brush first you're going to have a little bit of dust in there so when you convert it to the portable shampoo make sure you blow this outside first so you don't have any excess dirt that's in the hose going into your portable shampoo system a couple of things to help you with your shampoo system you might want a sponge or a scour it's entirely up to you I just use the sponge, I just find it a lot easier, but a lot better for agitation. Also, some a microfiber cloth, just to rub that shampoo in and just rub any stains that may not be agitated by the shampoo. But the Kirby shampoo is pretty good at getting out curry stains, coffee stains. It works really, really well. So today I'm gonna to be setting up two Kirby's. I will be using the Avalier 2 setup as the portable shampoo and I'll be using the G4 setup with the zip brush just for vacuum. It just makes life a little bit easier for me making these videos, having two Kirby's at hand. Let's dive in, get this vacuumed off with the zip brush and I'll show you how to set up the shampoo system and start shampooing. So I've left the Avalia in upright mode at the moment because we would have put the hose on the front. We will be converting it to portable mode app for when shampooing, just moving it around it is a lot easier. So we're gonna need this an intake valve. So we're gonna take the portable head off. So if your hose is already attached, just remove your hose. But if the portable head's on, remove the portable head. Slot on your intake valve. And then we're gonna move over to the bag. Looking at the curb, you just want to put your hand there. So just holding that wheel, you've got a handle under here. So you're just going to pull that, twist, and off that bag comes. Next, we're going to press our seatbelt clip and remove the bag. And we're just going to remove our lead. So you just want to unhook it from there. Now to remove our top cable, make sure this is turned up. If you don't, you're going to trap the cable. Then lift up and across and out that comes. Looking at the back, twist, and out it pops. To the bottom, just to pull out, lift up. And now that pops. Your main hand or your left hand, just push that in there. That's depressed. Right hand in there and lift out. Your portable handle, slot it in there and then just push hard and it slots in place. Lower the hood. With our hose with the hooks facing out, you've got an arrow here. So you're going to line that arrow up with there. Slot that on. So now the arrow is lined up. One hand beyond the Kirby there and then just twist. Our Kirby is now set up in portable compressor mode. Now with the portable shampoo, I have got a little bit of shampoo in there. I normally keep this for around three months just for spot cleaning if I've got anything. It's pointless throwing it away. It just comes in really handy and I will demonstrate how you do a bit of a spot clean with that at a later date. But this has been here around two and a half months. So we're gonna throw this away and put some fresh in. Now 
Now looking at your shampoo system, you've got two lines, so we're gonna fill it to the first line, and then the second line we just top up with Kirby shampoo. So you can see we're spot onto that first line, so we're just gonna to top it up with some shampoo to the second line. So today we're gonna to be using the scented Kirby shampoo. You can buy unscented, it's totally up to you. There will be a link down below of where to get this from. Now that's topped up, just replace your lid and give it a bit of a shake. Right, so today we're using a microfiber cloth. Like I said, you can use a damp sponge as well. We've got a few stubborn stains here and we're gonna just use a gentle nail brush just for those stubborn stains to give that a little bit of agitation. Right, so first up, what I like to do is just remove the nozzle. I'm just gonna give it a light spray first and then we'll put the foam on and get it to agitate. See now the stains have slowly disappeared, so we'll leave that to dry, and then we'll vac that off with a zip brush. So, so let's continue on with the rest of the dining chairs. I don't know how well this is coming out on camera, but you can see that the seats have come up a lot cleaner than they were. There's no stains. We're just gonna wait for those to dry. Now, my only suggestion is obviously when you shampoo them, the Sherby shampoo is a water-based product, and if you just shampoo a certain part, you might see it. So my only advice is make sure you go to the total edges of those seats, just to make sure that everything is covered in that shampoo. Then you'll have no watermarks on the chairs, and they should dry pretty clean, but just leave them for around 24 hours. All right, so we've finished cleaning the chairs. We're gonna leave those to dry overnight. They are like touch dry, but you wanna make sure they're perfectly dry before you go over that zip brush. We have got a little bit of shampoo. I did use one and a half of these. So one and a half of these will do literally eight dining room chairs if they're just the bases. Don't get throwing your shampoo away, keep it. It's really handy for spot cleaning. All you need to do is keep it in that bottle. It will keep for around three months, I've found. And then all you do, if the kids make a spill, grab a microfiber cloth, tip it on the cloth, give it a shake, and then just literally rub over that stain. That stain will be neutralized by that Kirby shampoo, leave it to dry, and then just vac it off with the zip brush the following day. It's the following day, the seats are dry, 
I'm not sure if you can hear that on camera. You what you'll find is the material is a little bit stiff because it's got all that shampoo residue, but we're gonna get that out with the zip brush and you'll see this will come up absolutely perfect. Right, so the seats have turned out pretty clean. It's got rid of all the stains, so there's no stains on there. Comes up really soft, especially with the zip brush. It gets all that shampoo out. There's contained all that dirt as well. But don't forget, if you're the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get those Kirby products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. If you enjoyed that quick shampoo tutorial of the portable Kirby shampoo, as you can see, it can save you a lot of money. So don't just sell your Kirby because you only use it as an upright. There are more qualities to using that Kirby that will save you money in the future. Over the years, the Kirby is going to save you a fortune on professional cleaning of your couch, dining room seats, even the car interior. If those of you struggling to shampoo your carpets, check out this video next. And for those of you looking at using the mop system on those tiled floors, check out this video next. So thanks for watching, happy cleaning, and I'll catch you in the next one.